Hello everyone and welcome. Today I'm here to talk about the state of Season 3 of Diablo 4. Uh, it's been out for a couple of weeks and the, uh, you know, the excitement of the new season has worn off. And I think it's a good time to compare it to the previous season, Season 2. And in short, it's disappointing. Uh, season 2 has been received quite well uh, with its Blood Harvest zones and new seasonal abilities. You know, uh, you could, they, they, they would change your play style or, or at least you would you know, know what, when you proc something that you, you know, suck the blood out of the entire screen worth of enemies and stuff like that. And it even featured a test for a new endgame content called Abattoir of Zir, which was also well received, even though it had some some problems. But you know, uh, season two seems to have built a very solid funda foundation for uh, for the next iterations of the game. So surely the next season would be as good if not better than Season 2, right? Uh, um, well, that doesn't seem to be the case. Now, the Season 3 came out with, uh, you know, its own set of quality of life improvements, which everyone would expect every season anyway. And it had some, it has some, you know, big features as every season should as well. Uh, one of them is a pet that you get once you do a couple of uh, seasonal quests, which, you know, is your whole gimmick for this season. You, you get it, you upgrade it, you add abilities to it, you upgrade abilities, etc, etc. And then you have a new type of dungeons, uh, which are bolts, uh, which can also be made uh, the nightmare type of dungeons, so they, they can, you know, uh, un unlike the season one where it was just a dungeon uh, with uh, malignant enemies and that's it, Th this time you actually can still do the vaults, uh, so enjoy the seasonal content while also leveling your glyphs and farming the uh, level appropriate items, right? And also, the season 3 came with a promise of a new endgame feature called the Gauntlet, which would feature a uh, you know, fixed layout, dungeons, and leaderboards, which is something the players have been looking forward since day one of Diablo coming out anyway. Um, it's, it's very exciting stuff on paper, but unfortunately, most of it fell flat. Uh, on release, the the pet, uh, which is again the main feature of the season, has been underperforming. It was it would you know uh, lag behind you somewhere. Most of the time, you wouldn't even know that it's there. And when it's it is on screen, you, you kind of don't even feel the presence of it. It's it has some abilities. It, it has some attacks, but. No, it it you, you, with the uh, with low level um, abilities that the pet has at the beginning, you didn't really feel that it was making any sort of impact. And to actually have some sort of impact, you would need to sink hundreds of hours into leveling this pet, and at best. It, it would, you know, just do a, it would be a flat improvement of your stats, or it would do some marginal damage to enemies, but other than that, you know, it's, it might as well be just a uh, flat uh, stat buff on your uh, character for an entire season, and you wouldn't even know the difference. Um, as far as the vaults go, uh, they were also not received very well simply because uh, they're riddled with traps and in order to get the you know the re most rewards so in order to open the caches at the end of the dungeon you had to avoid 
the traps because triggering a trap would remove the stacks of your warding and getting warding was uh, expensive uh, and not as easy to farm. So it promoted a very slow and careful gameplay in a game which is usually played very quickly so you you know you kill lots of enemies you move through the dungeon at the speed of light you get your items you know you you reset you repeat and with the vaults it was it, it was a major slowdown it got to the point where it was basically better to just ignore the whole traps and warding thing and just you know rush through the vault and get your single cash and be happy about it uh, which is obviously not good uh, but luckily Blizzard have been relatively quick on trying to fix that and so now the pet, leveling the pet is at very least faster so even though the uh, the biggest issue was the pet is still not sold where you kind of you know it might as well not be there and it would be just replaced by a flat stat buff to your uh, character but at the very least, you can level up its abilities faster, so you can feel the impact of it faster, which is kind of a good thing, right? With Waltz, they kind of went from one extreme to another. Um, so instead of very slowly and methodically clearing the dungeon and getting the maximum reward from it, you now instead get so much warding that you don't even care about triggering the traps, you just run right past them if you trigger it so uh, it's it's not too bad if not even better you still end the dungeon with with plenty of warding and you know it, it became just another type of dungeon which seems to provide a whole lot more uh gear and also still levels your glyphs so you know it's it's something but again nothing to write home about nothing compared to uh, your Blood Harvest Zones, for example. Um, so, yeah, with such two big features, you know, falling flat, all faith was in the gauntlet, right, the leaderboards. Now, a couple of days ago, Blizzard announced that they are postponing uh, this feature until later in the season, so they still want to release it uh, this season, season 3. And um, Rex actually had a great coverage of the news on his channel, I will link it down below. Um, and he suggested that maybe uh, Blizzard should instead, you know, take the L for this season and move the gauntlet to season 4, invest more time into it, you know, polish it and get it as great as they can possibly do. And I kind of disagree with that, uh, simply because I don't trust their, the Diablo team enough uh, to, to release a completely new feature and have it be done right, right from the get-go. So instead, I would say they should embrace this dumpster fire that the season three turned out to be. You know, throw in the gauntlet at whichever state of the development it is right now, and collect the feedback from the players. Like you, you know, the the, the people will come up with all sorts of solutions and suggestions, and will you know test all all of the all of the bugs out of this feature. And for season four. They will actually have some da data points and ideas and time to address those suggestions and those bugs and those, uh, you know, whatever they haven't finished. So in Season 4 we would have a better chance of getting an actually good uh, new endgame feature. Um, so in conclusion, I would say that uh, with Season 3 they have taken a step back which is very disappointing, uh, but yeah, if, if, you, if you were thinking about coming back uh, for Season 3 and trying it out, I probably wouldn't suggest it, uh, I would probably wait for Season 4 at this point, because you might as well play the Eternal Realm, 
Um, so yeah, that's all I've got for now. I hope you have a good day and I'll see you next time.